Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my Victober TBR. If you're not familiar with Victober, it is basically a month where you read Victorian literature. I've seen Victober happen every year and I've kind of waved at it from afar. And this year I'd like to actually get a little bit more involved. But I have to be honest, I don't know why I've chosen this year because at the moment all I want to read is 17th century literature which obviously is not Victorian. So we'll see how we go. There are challenges for Victober, and I've definitely not stuck to them. So I won't be winning Victober as such, but I will put them in the description as well as all the links so you can actually participate properly rather than what I'm doing. I thought this would also just be a great way of going through some Victorian books that I haven't read yet and ones that I want to read and are kind of on my TBR that I will be reading in the near future. Before I do that, I wanted to just talk about Shirley, which is Lucy the Reader's favourite novel, but it's also the group read-along for Victober. Shirley is one of my favourite books and is one that I read a lot for my MA. Um, it deals with trade unionism, which is why I was so fascinated, because I did my MA on kind of social laws and trade union movements. It has the most amazing heroine, Shirley, who is very much a woman with a man's name in a man's world. I don't think I'll be joining the read-along of this, just because I've read it a lot before, but I just wanted to say that if you haven't read it, please read it, because I think if you love Jane Eyre and if you love Victorian literature, this is one of the greats. I thought we'd just go through the challenges now so we can see the ones I've completely ignored. You don't have to follow the challenges in the same way that I will not read these books. <laughs> read a Victorian book that equates to your favourite modern genre. As I'm sure you're all aware, I love true crime and I love kind of true crime detective stories. One thing I'm fascinated by is Victorian crime and the creation of like the police and um, all of that, so I feel like I need to read Sherlock Holmes. So this is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle with beautiful black spray edges. Sherlock Holmes is just a cult figure, they're just cult books at this point, and I have read part of it. My favourite case is The Case of the Speckled Band, that it terrifies me. I think I will love Sherlock Holmes, I think it's something that I'll get pretty obsessed by. Next is Challenge of Lucy which is read a Victorian diary or collection of letters. I haven't got one of those. I will definitely try and find one. As a recommendation I read a lot of Elizabeth Gaskell's letters and also um, Charlotte Bronte which uh, are beautiful. So maybe I'll go and find Charlotte Bronte's letters or Gaskell. That was basically um, kind of formed a lot of my research for my MA, hence why I don't know if I want to go back there just yet, even though it's been years, I need to get over it now. If any of you have some favourite Victorian letters or a favourite Victorian diary, please let me know and I'll add that to this TBR. Kate's challenge, read a new to you book or short story by a favourite Victorian author. I would quite like to read The Poor Claire by Elizabeth Gaskell because I really like her more gothic writing as well as kind of you know the classics like north and south. I also picked up a book that is new to me uh, in terms of I've read, I guess I've read you know The Tenant of Whitehall Hall but I haven't read Agnes Grey so this book is new to me and I also don't know much about Agnes Grey so I kind of want to complete the Brontes. I kind of want to get the full set. And this also I guess fits in with my favourite genre in the way that it's kind of a social novel. I just noticed on this back, this edition also includes Charlotte Bondi's memoir of her sisters, the biographical notice of Ellis and Acton Bell. So I'll also read that for this Victober. The penultimate challenge is a reader's challenge, which was uh, to read a book from a previous Victober TBR, or the one you've been meaning to read for a long time, which to be honest is Agnes Grey, Sherlock Holmes. For this challenge, Agnes Grey is the one that sticks out to me most, just because I've always wanted to read all of the Bronte novels, and Agnes Grey is my only piece of their writing left to read. So reading that would be kind of quite monumental in a way. The final challenge is a general one, which is to read Victorian-esque clothing while reading, which sounds like every evening at the moment for me in autumn. So they're the challenges, but I do have a couple more picks that I would like to read this October, and they are on the shorter side just because it's been quite a busy couple of months, especially with work, so I don't want to challenge myself by reading chunky books. Saying that though, a book I've been dying to reread all year is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bonte, and I don't know if I'm going to read it this October, but I think this might be a 2021. 2021 Victober read, Jane Eyre. I don't think I've got time for it this year. I love it, maybe I should just watch the adaptation 
and pretend, uh, pretend I've reread it. The two pieces of Victorian literature I'm probably most excited about reading along with Agnes Grey um, is actually another Bronte, another Bronte book, um, but it's Emily Bronte's Complete Poems. Emily Bronte is actually one of my favourite poets. I love her poetry. It is so dark and just makes my heart sing. Another bit of um, poetry is a little black classic which is Woman Much Missed by Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy is one of my favourite writers. One thing I find really comforting is to read poetry. I remember reading a war poem actually by Thomas Hardy which was one of the most beautiful things I'd ever read and I'll try and find it but I haven't read much of Hardy's poetry apart from then so I've had this little book for ages so I want to read it and then kind of read more of his poems afterwards. The next choice also works well, I guess, with a short story by a favourite author. I don't know if George Eliot is one of my favourite writers yet. I read him in a March, loved it, really enjoyed it, but I don't know if she's my fa one of my favourites. But anyway, I really wanted to read more George Eliot and I love a gothic ghost story. I love a bit of gothic literature. So I thought the perfect um, pick as well for October of a short book is The Lifted Veil by George Eliot. October, autumn is all about spooky reads for me so I had to kind of combine that. So those are all the books I'm planning to read during October. I've tended to pick this year the smaller ones just because I'm not reading that much at the moment. I'll see how well I stick to them because I've been wanting to read a lot of 17th century and not Victorian books. But we'll see. I'll leave all of the challenges in the description so please let me know what you would choose, what books you would read and if you are joining in Victoria, what is your TBR? If you've done a video please let me know. So as I said let me know in the comments what you would choose and also just what is your favourite Victorian novel or maybe you hate Victorian novels. I mean if you hate Victorian novels you have really stayed watching this video for a long time. Anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with another bookish video.